It's the site of one of the world's most terrifying disasters. 30 years later, Chernobyl's crippled reactor still has the power to kill. The confinement dome of the power plant that blew up in 1986. The radiation is increased here because they lived here and they went everywhere. On their shoes and clothes, I ask? Yes, and now they took the radiation with them. The Russian soldiers apparently stole Chernobyl office and laboratory equipment as souvenirs. Um, the, these troops um, do, do not know what they're doing and behaving recklessly. What we see here is a vivid example of outrageous behavior at a nuclear facility. Now, as the headline says, Ukraine nuclear agency mocks Russian soldiers as new Darwin Award nominees for stealing dangerously radioactive souvenirs from Chernobyl. The Darwin Awards mock stupid people who contribute to human evolution by eliminating themselves in an extraordinarily idiotic manner. And the Ukrainian agency Argotam has issued a scathing statement about the Russian soldiers leaving with Chernobyl keepsakes. Quote, carrying such a souvenir with you for two weeks will inevitably lead to radiation burns, radiation sickness, and irreversible processes in the body. They clearly didn't bring any specialists with them who have experience with nuclear power plants, with nuclear facilities, with radiation. Earlier in the war, there was this. The so-called Red Forest is one of the most contaminated areas in the world, especially the soil. The Ukrainian government released this drone footage apparently showing that the Russians dug combat positions there. The operator of Ukraine's nuclear plants says those Russian soldiers could have been exposed to significant amounts of radiation. It all means the Russians clearly didn't send their best and brightest soldiers to Chernobyl, nor did many of the Russian soldiers learn about the lingering dangers while occupying the complex and then leaving it. Hello everybody, I'm David Schuster and thanks for joining us. The story about Russian forces hurting themselves is irresistible to the West, and it is possible, of course, that the potential for Russian radiation sickness is being overstated. Ukraine would like nothing better than to further demoralize Russian troops and portraying the Russians who went to Chernobyl as a danger to themselves because of their own stupidity, well, that bolsters the Ukrainian PR efforts. Still, there is every indication that Russia's approach to Chernobyl has been cavalier and reckless. Again, we're talking about one of the most dangerous nuclear contamination sites in the world. It's a facility that is still leaking radiation that must be contained and controlled, and those efforts require highly technical personnel working there around the clock. Many of those engineers were held at gunpoint by the Russians, and according to local officials, some of those Chernobyl workers were taken hostage and brought out of Ukraine and into Russia. As for the Russian soldiers, the latest reporting is that some of them looted two Chernobyl laboratories and stole 133 highly radioactive substances. And never mind those troops who stole souvenirs, some Russian soldiers spent a month at Chernobyl digging bare soil for sandbags and breathing in radioactive dust. After that kind of exposure, experts say some of those troops will die within a year, and it will be a slow and painful death. This Russian invasion and war in Ukraine has been horrifying on so many levels, we'll now add one more level of insanity. Russian soldiers ignorant about nuclear radiation were apparently sent in with few guidelines or safety instructions. And now, those Russians and their equipment are carrying dangerous remnants of Chernobyl's radiation. What a souvenir.